with actions in the casino. You probably want to be in there. Uh-huh. I got plenty, as long as you've got the creds. Yeah, you just tell me what you want. Yeah, sure. There you go. Okay, take a look.
Good luck with... Talking to the underside of my boot if you keep trying to strike up a conversation. Transferring parts now. You take care out there. Drive is spinning down. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship.
West Solomon named this place Aquila? You'd think I know the answer to that, but I don't. So you're the delivery person. Well, here's your payment. Oh, no. This never happened. Look out for gangs. Actually, the gangs should look out for us. You're out looking for a new hairstyle? Maybe end. a change of color? Welcome to Enhance. If you're tired of seeing that same old face in the mirror every morning, and you're looking for something different, we can help. Our state-of-the-art machinery uses a patented proprietary technology that can reshape your facial features or give you a new head of hair. For a small, one-time fee, you can enhance yourself and bring a big, warm smile to your brand new face. Choice overload. I'll take a look, but I won't make any promises, okay? Please let me know if there's anything else I can do to enhance your day. going to be fine, and we're all going to love it because you're still you. Did you drag me in here? You said you wanted to buy something nice for your yeah. girlfriend, so here we are. <sighs> are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of her usual clientele. Hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive tastes. 
They're just expensive. Oh, my apologies, then. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. Ah, yes, the authorities. Neon security. <laughs> Corrupt, bumbling idiots who couldn't solve a crime if it occurred right in front of their faces. The authorities on Neon are usually worse than the crooks. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. No one knows. Seoka are sleek, well-dressed mobsters. They aren't low-life gang members. Why they choose to hang out at a run-down little convenience store like that is beyond me. Mm, probably not. Seoka tend to hang out in small groups. Good for them, but for us. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. Oh? Well, maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe. You won't find a more elegant selection anywhere else. It was good to have you in my shop. Farewell. Never look in the mirror and wish you could see. Be here. 
Today, another ship. Hey there. I am confident that the flyers will help my business. Ah! Thank you so much, my friend. I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Farewell, my friend. And tell everyone we have plenty of mining supplies in stock. Sticks. Crime in this city gets worse by the day. Vandals, thieves, gangs. I'm sorry. Frank Reddick is the proprietor of Neon Tactical. My primary function is security and protection. I'm sorry. Your inquiry is invalid. Neon Tactical deals in weapons and armor for use in combat, for paint and home decor. Please visit the appropriate vendor. End query. Don't forget nightmare sticks about the war. I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I get what you're saying. You just want to forget. If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Stuff things in your pocket and run. Rob me at gunpoint. Shoot me in the head. <laughs> I've survived on Neon far too long to take any chances. My store, my rules. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our, um, complaints department. <laughs> That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating Sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. You'd do that? Huh. Okay. Maybe I misjudged you. I appreciate the offer, but it isn't about the money. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the abside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. <laughs> Feel like bringing the pain, huh?
I knew a guy a few years ago who ran up a hell of a tab with me. I'm talking thousands of credits, but at least he'd make regular payments. One day the payment stopped, so I tracked him down. Found out he got mixed up with an Aurora dealer and uh, fell from the upper platform. Since I had a legit claim, the city awarded me his property, which amounted to the contents of a storage container. Guess what I found inside? Took me a few months to scrounge up the parts, but I'd say I did a pretty decent job getting sticks up and running. Ah, <sighs> sometimes sticks. I wonder how things would have been different if I took a different path. I think Cora's taking a shine to you. Kids got good taste. Happy to even up the load. Next time. Got that key card for me? Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Easy to be discreet at the lounge. Everybody's too busy indulging their vices. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. It's already been taken care of. All you need to worry about is the job at hand. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much. Thanks again for your assistance. I trust you'll be discreet.
killing each other. Move along. dressed to impress here on business or just out to escape ah same here nothing like a business trip paid in full especially when there is good downtime that would be infinity LTD risky you say by all means, enlighten me. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched infinity. But your comment gives me pause. Their instability was cited as a pain point but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception, and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, Never judge a book by its cover is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment, coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself. You either got great taste or great connections, maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look. It was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake.
let's see what we got. Welcome to the Trade Tower, the pride of Bayou Plaza. Back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. I'll make my job. Be careful if you run into those eclipses. Welcome back. Listen, uh, feel free to use anything. Wait, is that Sam Coe? You have a lot of nerve. Here to yell at Lillian personally? Maybe change things up a little? Listen, this ain't about me. It's about the kid. Oh, uh, I didn't see you, Princess. Sorry. So why are you here then? I'm sorry. I just can't help you. I'm afraid I cannot disclose that information. You do remember that from your ranger days, Sam? About civilians not being allowed to know sensitive information and all that? It's Cora, right? I just can't say anything. I'm sorry. So, this is official business. Sorry. That's different. Now, I haven't heard from Lillian in some time. I know she was working a case, a big one. I was playing it really close to the vest. Feel free to search your desk. Maybe there's something there. Sorry, that's all I got. Hey, I'm genuinely happy to help you out. Your friend? Not so much. Listen, I've heard a lot of stories about you. If Lily needs an assist, she couldn't ask for anyone better. So good luck. Hopefully, you won't need it. So what'd you find? Well, it is something. So she had a confidential informant. Huh. An address of Lillian's confidential informant? What's a confidential informant? A snitch. Someone that works for bad people, but is helping the authorities on the side. Well, looks like we have a lead. No name, but an address works. Shall we? And the field trip continues. Now be careful, Cora. Dad! Personally, I think we make a hell of a team.
hope you have some good news for me. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural, and I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. We made it look easy. That's because of the skills. I like to recommend something fun or shiny and new. You never know when life will take a turn, especially in this line of work. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an arc device. The arc will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. Nice to see you don't need any extra motivation. Not all of our operatives are thrilled with the idea of these assignments. And I know you've heard this before, but take care to not get caught. We don't want to give any room for authorities to suspect foul play. Don't cause any trouble. How are you doing? Meet any interesting robots lately? So, what do you think? Is it true what they say? Are drone machines the best in the galaxy? Ha! <laughs> That's a diplomatic way of saying no. Uh, but don't worry. Look, I don't work for Ryujin. I don't mind. My apologies, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Lendell Green. I handle robot certs and acquisitions for Star Freight Logistics. But outside of the job, I'm just a fan of robots. <laughs> so when I retired 15 years ago, I figured this was a good career change. <laughs> I played professional bat ball, believe it or not. I was a utility infielder for my hometown team in Aquila City. But then I messed up my knee trying to turn a 463 double play, and I had to retire early. They say athletes die two deaths, but tinkering with robots has given me a second life. We're a small interstellar shipping company, at least compared to the hope techs of the world. But what we lack in size, we make up for in quality. <laughs> you think Ron Hope has someone like me making sure every bot he buys is up to standard? <laughs> Not a chance. I mainly run tests to check things like load capacity, walking speed, uh, you know, just to be sure the model we're buying matches industry specifications. Once the sale goes through, we integrate the robots with our human crews. If the haulers don't abuse them and do regular maintenance, even the older Model A's will last a very long time. I'll be seeing you. Hello there. Uh, thanks for visiting the drone offices at Ryujin Tower. Can I help you find something? Oh, <clears throat> by the way, I'm uh, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> Robert. Sorry, I should have introduced myself when you walked up. I I'm still adjusting to this whole office manager thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> First week. 
Thanks for saying that. I'm new at this. I'm still getting my feet under me. Anyway, take a look around the office if you want. It's open to the public. Everybody's pretty busy, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't disturb them too much. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, thank you for visiting Ryujin Tower. Enjoy your day. I uh, hate to say it, but your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> the rumor is the caps are just a marketing tactic. Catch attention, get people talking. <laughs> guess it works. See you around. Working here must be very relaxing. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Not the best neighborhood. Door's locked. Well, yeah. You'd have to be certifiable to leave your door unlocked on Neon. What are you doing? Picking the lock. <laughs> what? Where the hell did you learn to do that? A book. Oh, and Vladimir. Uh, I told you nothing good will come from those books. I can't believe my little Cora is picking locks. Ain't that the truth? But seriously, dragging her all over creation? Uh, maybe Lillian's right. Well, Neon's a rough town. She's waltzing through it like it's nothing. You really think so? I mean... I know you said Constellation's good for her. You really think that, even now? Lock's done. Well, I guess that's our cue. Jesus. Cora. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. Yeah, okay. We'll stay away from this. I mean it, Cora. We'll investigate. If that's the CI, does that mean mom... Mom's as tough as they come. It does mean that whatever she's involved in, well, it's not some milk run. Looks like you found it. A slate. What's it say? Shit. Sioka Syndicate. Some Victor compound, some stuff about fake IDs and cover details. Lillian's doing a deep cover up on the Syndicate. My thoughts exactly. Cora, listen to me. This is too dangerous. No. The Syndicate is very real and very deadly. There's no way. No, you listen, Dad. 
I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful, promise. If mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... I know that look. Oh, damn it. She's too much of a co to be left behind. Thanks, Dad. All right. Let's go find your mother. Those Varun zealots live in space. Spacers. Tell Cora we're back.
That's all we need. You're cleared for landing at Aquila City. Sounds good to go. You just try and stop. Serious damage. Don't be a stranger. I feel like a superhero here. Insertion achieved. We're spacebound again. Touchdown. Can you give me a second? I still know some Ranger secure frequencies. This is Ko. Hart, you there? Please respond. Hart here. Acknowledged. End. Frequency secured. Sam? Sam, what are you doing here? Mom! Oh, you gotta be. 
Sam, you didn't bring my daughter here, did you? Not the time or place. What's your status? We will be talking about this later. <sighs> Cover is intact for now, but the clock's ticking down fast. Too fast. A distract and extract should do it. Like old times. Great. Just great. And Sam? If even one hair on Cora's head gets hurt. We are 110% on the same page. Comms out. All right. Well, time for us to make an entrance. You're still in, right? I owe you. Big time. Comes up. Take my binoculars from my bag. You're our eyes, okay? You tell us about anything you see. Roger. You move one solitary inch away from that perch, and you will be grounded until you're 30. I am not kidding. This is my deadly serious face, yeah? I got it. I got it. I won't move. Good. Oh, this has to be the most half-baked idea. Okay, let's make it happen. I knew something was wrong. Call me crazy, but a little cold is kind of fun.
That one got away.
friend here gonna teach you manners.
This is my favorite part. See, the stories about you weren't exaggerated. Thanks. Looks like I get to play hero for once. I gotta say, your time is spot on. My cover was hours from being blown to hell. We have a lot to talk about, but let's get to your ship first. I can't wait to put this place behind me. This is your ship, right? I hate to ask, but I'm gonna need some more assistance with my mission. Are you for real? Weren't you just chewing me out about putting Cora at risk? Thanks, Sam. What if you were spotted? Either here or I assume Neon. It means the Syndicate may come after all of you. The only way to get us to be really safe is to see this through. That's fair. Just like Lillian. Straight from one fire to the next. That's the job, Sam. You know that. There's a shipment of armaments coming in on a heavy freighter, the Duma. I know it's itinerary, but I don't know where the arms are being stored. If we find the cash, we can lure out a Sayoka underboss, Valerie Mascara. Gladly. So we get the location of the cash from the Duma. Then we make our move. Thank you.
Cruz. What next? You're running out of time to make the smart decision. We could use a vacation. If you're feeling generous, you could help us out. Or we could just dust your ship.
location. A war captain? Excellent. We know where the cache is now. I know the type Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out. <laughs> it's time we deal with Valerie once and for all. Set up an outpost on a planet like this once. So if you want to set up any traps or surprises for the syndicate, do that first. Looks like we're the first folk that have been here in a good spell. A good old fashioned secret door. Kinda cool.
Sam has had a lot to say about you. I can't believe you're fine with bringing my daughter along on all your adventures. And encouraging Sam with all this constellation is great for core nonsense? It's dangerous. I... well, I didn't know that. I'll have to talk with her. And maybe Sam too. So I'm sure Sam's told you all about me. Go on. Ask whatever you want. He did? That's some serious ancient history. Mm. Well, we came across what remained of the pirates that attacked him, and the way he flew, fearless, brave, unpredictable. If there were any contraband on his ship, that would be such a waste of talent. Fortunately, any cargo he had was jettisoned in the fight. Understood? confidential informant was supposed to arrange transport off that rock but I lost contact with him the syndicate got to him and it was only a matter of time before they found me out I owe you for the assist it's complicated oh so complicated Cora is the one who reached out to me a couple years ago we exchanged messages then the little scam convinced me to join a book club with her I mean books are fine but the looks I got from my fellow rangers reading Alexander Dumas? <laughs> we do strange things for kids. Talk later, then. And? It's over. I could see why they were eager to recruit you for the rangers. I could see why Sam speaks so highly of you. We need to talk. I mean, really talk, Lillian. Maybe somewhere private? No, I might need a little... Damn it, emotional support, all right? Ain't that the truth? If you want to fight in front of your friend, I'm ready. I know you don't approve of Cora being with me. Don't you see why? If you keep this up, she could get hurt, or killed, or worse. Yeah, but she hasn't. She's been safe. I've been keeping her that way her whole life. And she's not a little girl anymore. She helps keep me alive, too. Hey, back me up here. I'll keep her safe. You know I will, right? I know you try your very best. But what Constellation does? There's so much risk. I don't agree with your decision. I don't think I ever will. But I'll make my peace with it. All right? Listen, all this, this, it has to stop. Like, every time we talk, it makes me want to punch a wall. I don't want to be mad at you. I really don't. Lillian, I don't know if what we had was ever love. But we used to like each other. We need to get back to at, at least being civil. For Cora's sake. It's hard, but you're right. Isn't this good, Lillian? Yeah, it actually is. If we were going to be really honest here, Sam, Cora and you, we were always together. Back when we were a team, Cora would follow you everywhere, like a little adoring dog. I just fell out of it long before we separated. Lillian, I, um. Uh... No. No, Sam. I need to get this out. But it's not fair that I take that out on you. Um... Sorry, alright? Thank you. I know. It's, it's my fault, too. Truce? Truce. But... I need something, Sam. I need to see my daughter more. These messages just hurt. They're such a tease. And she misses you. But Lillian, the last three times we planned something, you bailed twice. Twice. Every time you do that, it destroys Cora. 
And I'm the one that has to deal with it. Ah, uh, that does make sense. Maybe, maybe you can have Cora for a vacation or something. You gotta have, like, years of shore leave banked. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. And Lillian... You know I care for you, right? But you and me... I know. We were over before we even began. Look, it's none of my business, I know, but... You need to put yourself out there. And there's bound to be someone, hell, lots of someones... That would be thrilled for the complete... Lillian Hart, badass ranger package. Actually, I know a certain person on Neon. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. There are people that would do right by you. There's more to life than rangering. Well, I'll think about it. Oh my, you're... you're terrible. <laughs> Oh, that was priceless. Now it's my turn. Sam, you... You're a good dad. I know I don't say it enough, but you are. But there is more to life than being Cora's father. So same advice to you. Find someone. Maybe you already have. Well, aren't you just loving the turnabout and fair play nonsense? See you around, Sam. Must, right? So you see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit. But Lillian's good people. She's full throttle freestyle ranger through and through. I, mean, I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunt of mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of Solomon Co. I want to show you. And have our own real talk, okay? And maybe figure out a way to repay you. You find places like this abandoned all over.
Natasha's doing well for herself. Laredo is a big player in arms manufacture. You know, I went to chef school. This ain't exactly where I saw myself. There's no one the Dragon's Alliance can't find. Can you imagine living here? Your muscles would be huge. Hey, thanks for coming here with me. You know, I used to truly hate this place. When I was a kid, I'd throw stones at that statue. Just beamed him over and over. <laughs> Almost got arrested for it once. I can personally attest that the sculptor didn't skimp on the materials. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post-mission glow. <laughs> I, uh, I miss the old guy. Maybe even Aquila City. A little. With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel... <laughs> at peace. Lillian and I, we're never meant for each other. But it's good to have her back as a mother to Cora. It's great, even. Yeah. And without your support, I don't think I ever would have done it. Man, there's so much. But you know, behind every lucky star that's come my way lately, I see, uh... You. I've talked with you about things no one, and I mean no one else knows. But your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage. From the mistakes, the betrayals, the misfortune. Makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. Yeah, that's all you did. Right. When we met, originally, and I heard you wanted to travel together, I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or Ward or something. But, uh... You know, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I just said that. Well, can't argue with that. I just want you to know, come thick or thin, hell or high water, I'm there for you. Every time. So let's go, partner. Stay down. 